Hello out there to you. We've got an AP macro practice question uh, from a fiscal policy unit. Okay, and so we're given a aggregate demand, aggregate supply model here. We're told some information. We're told that uh, non-discretionary, so that means mandatory fiscal spending money, maybe a automatic stabilizer or something, uh, and that the MPC is point. 0 0.8 or just 0.8 okay how much would transfer payments need to increase to close the gap okay so we need to recognize what's going on in this uh graph here so anywhere along this long run aggregate supply with any associated price level is full employment so we need the the real gdp this one's not labeled but this is real real GDP, or you could say output, they are the same thing. Uh, output needs to be 1,000, that's what the FE, full employment, okay? Uh, and so for whatever reason, our equilibrium is over here, so we're off by the difference here. So we're off by 400, okay? And that's the amount of the recession, okay? So we need to shift aggregate demand over uh, by $400, okay? So the traditional way that you'll see this is you'll see we take some kind of government spending change so that's a change for government spending we multiply it by the spending multiplier and this gives us the change in aggregate demand in this problem we know that we need to increase aggregate demand by 400 we actually know the spending multiplier here. The spending multiplier is one, or sometimes really the simple spending multiplier, um, one minus the MPC. And in simpler terms, if you just memorize it, it's one over the MPS. Okay, so that either way, this is one minus 0 0.8 gives you one over 0 0.2. This is one over 0 0.2. If you can use a calculator, that's really easy. The answer is just five, but if you can't, you can go one over, just turn this into a fraction. This is two tenths, okay? And that's simplify that. That gives us one over one fifth. Multiply the bottom by five, multiply the top by five, and you got five. That way you don't have to, if you didn't have access to a calculator. Anyway, spinning multiplier is this, uh, the change in government spending, okay? so. I want to divide both sides by five. Okay, and then these guys will go away. These guys will go away. The change in government spending, which is in transfer payments, uh, is going to be uh, 80. Okay, so. Um, we got that, and so that means an increase in uh, aggregate demand of 80 with this mar marginal propensity to consume will shift aggregate demand this way by 400, and we're back up here. We've, we've uh, in a Keynesian fashion, ended this recession, and we've closed this gap.